Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of At Home with James. It's the uh, 250th episode of this, uh, this show. Uh, I'm uh, David, not James. James couldn't be here, he couldn't make his own 250th episode. Didn't even have it in him to make a milestone show. So I'm here instead. Uh, I guess he's off watching uh, the Habs game. Apparently there's a big hockey game on tonight. And uh, it's too important for him to do his own show. So I'm here. I'm uh, Dave, as I said. I've uh, been on the show a few times. <sighs> really excited to be hosting it right now. Coming to you live from uh, the Dave Cave. This is my basement. Uh, still in the process of uh, unpacking. I got my boxes behind me. Got uh, my illuminated staircase. Looks like it's going up to the heavens right now. But I can assure you that it just goes up to the rest of my apartment. We got a great show for you tonight. Uh, we got uh, Sid Rock is here. We got uh, Alex Brown, Saima Ahmed. And, uh, yeah, and the phone lines are open, so we're going to be taking some phone calls. And uh, I apologize to everybody uh, if they tuned in for uh, James, but uh, he clearly doesn't care about you at all. So, uh, on that note, let's get this thing started. Uh, I think off the top, he talks about his day a little bit, so I'll talk about uh, my day, too. I, uh, I worked which is a bit of a difference from what he talks about because he doesn't have a job. Uh, so I'm a bit more tired than he would be hosting because he, I don't know, wakes up at like 5 p.m. or something and then does whatever he does. Sucks off the government teat. Meanwhile, I'm working and uh, I still make time to do the shows that he is unable to do himself for valid reasons like watching hockey. Um, anybody else uh, here walk chalky? Uh, feel free to uh, join the chat. How many people we got watching us right now? We got five viewers. So uh, to each and every one of you who's out there watching, I sincerely appreciate it, even though the person who hosts the show does not. Uh, all right. Uh, what did I do today? I went grocery shopping. I went to the new PA on uh, DeCary. It's a really nice grocery store. Uh, got all sorts of stuff. I got a, a rabbit, a uh, a rabbit to cook instead of chicken to change things up, and uh, it scared my wife because they leave the heads on the rabbits. So it was always in the fridge, and she opened the fridge and got scared. For anybody who uh, has never met my wife before, uh, this is her. She's on the mug that I'm drinking from. Love her to bits. All right, uh, we got our phone lines full here. So uh, if you uh, know the secret number of the show, feel free to call in. If, uh, if you don't know the show number, then James probably hasn't trusted you with the number for good reason. So don't call in. You're probably a freak. All right, uh, we'll go hit up caller number. We'll go to phone two. So uh, uh, phone two, you there? Hey, am I on? Uh, yeah, you're on At Home with James, uh, with Dave. James couldn't awesome. make it, sorry. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's exactly why I called. I noticed that David was hosting tonight. That's me, that's me. How's it going? What's your name? My name is Sylvia. Oh, hi, Sylvia. What, I'm, uh, uh, what are you up to tonight? Well, I'm just in my backyard. I'm actually in my hot tub. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Getting a nice soak I in on this, uh... Spring day. Well, nice would be an understatement. I noticed that some of the callers last week were also calling from their backyard, and it inspired me to go to mine for the first time ever. <laughs> You've never been to your backyard before? Well, no, I live alone, so a lady like me in a backyard might be a little scary. But luckily for your wife, well, she's got a big, strong husband to take care of her. Well... Uh, I don't know if she feels the same way about it, but uh, I appreciate that, uh, oh, Sylvia. I'm, I'm sure that she loves you. Now, uh, I actually have a bit of news. 
Well, breaking news here at on Home with James. Yeah, I I think that we live in the same neighborhood. Oh yeah, where you live? I live in NDG. Oh yeah, well we do live in the same neighborhood. Would it be okay with you and your viewers if I told you what street I lived on? Or would uh, that be sure. would that be maybe a little naughty? Um uh, I don't know if it'd be naughty, Sylvia. I live I live on Melrose. Oh, interesting. It's a popular street. I've seen you on the street before. Oh, you're actually the street that I live on. Thank you, Sylvia. Well, it sounds actually like you outed it. I didn't actually mention that you lived on the street. Well, I said that of, I've seen. You well, no, I said. Lied. David, is there tension between us right now? Because I'm feeling it. There's a little bit of tension, Sylvia. Yeah. Yeah, but don't worry about it. It's almost like this hot tub I'm in is getting hotter and hotter by the second that this phone call goes on. Well, did you pee in it? Oh, you, you're bad. <laughs> it was a little bit of a joke. I'm trying to do the whole host thing, so I'm new at it, so. Oh, I think you're doing a great job. I saw you doing some lawn care earlier this week. Oh, yeah? I like the shorts that you were wearing. What were they? Well, they were short. Well, right now, Sylvia, I don't know if you're watching the video, but I'm wearing uh, sweat shorts. Oh, it's like this hot tub I'm in is getting even hotter now. From the sweat shorts? Yeah, from the sweat shorts. Well, well my my. The reason I wanted to call is I wanted to let you know that I'm going to be at Cafe Mercanti tomorrow at noon. So maybe if you wanted to join me without your wife, that would be great. Well, I'm in a, a loving relationships, but... Uh... Well, for now. Well... It's been a while, and will continue to be a while. Bye, David. But uh, this does happen a lot. Goodbye, David. Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, first caller and the first uh, lady to hit on me. Uh, happens a lot when you live a life like I do, you know, in your basement and stuff. But uh, my wife, Sarah, has nothing to worry about. We've got a nice kid and uh, in a loving relationship. All right, we're going to hit up one more caller. Uh, we got uh, line three uh, open. So uh, line three, what's your name? Where are you from? Hey, my name's Marco. I'm calling from RDP. Hey, Marco. How's it going? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm watching a game tonight. Are you watching a game? I'm not. I'm not a huge hockey fan. Okay, no problem. Well, uh, look, I'm a hockey fan, but I'm also a big fan of the show. I heard you saying some uh, things that I didn't uh, know were uh, true before. Oh, like what? You said that uh, James, he doesn't have a job. Uh, well, I mean, for the last year, he's sort of, uh, been out of work, but uh, yeah, I think yeah, he has yeah. a couple of, I think he has a couple of smaller gigs, uh, these yeah, but, days. But, but the thing that got me was that you have a job. He doesn't have a job. Yeah, I have a job. I've been uh, gainfully employed but, for quite some but time. But you guys, you're, you're friends in uh, real life off the show. You're friends. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's sort of a working relationship. It's, but, it, it's, uh... it's, it's interesting because it's almost like the, uh, the old thing of opposites attract. It's true. You don't have a... You've got a job. He doesn't have a job. Yeah, that's right. And it, it started to make me think, what else is opposite about you and him? Now, you're married, yeah? You said that? Yeah, yeah, I'm married. Man. You're right, James. Uh... Now, is James, is he married or not No, he's not married. He's single. He's single. Okay, yeah. okay. Is he dating anyone? Um, Not to my knowledge. He's not dating anybody. Ah, oh, wow. You guys are uh, opposites, no? Yeah. I mean, I'm tall. Yeah, yeah. He's not. Is he not tall? He's not tall, no. How tall is he? What are you? What are you? I'm uh, six, six foot two. Six foot two? Yeah. Wow, I'm a six you're... foot three with the hair sometimes. You, oh, you, you're yeah. naughty. You know that? So oh. hold on. You're By dating nature. some, you're dating someone you're married. He's single. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's got to be, there's got to be something you two have in common. Now, uh, you have a dad? Yeah. My dad is alive and kicking. Okay. But he must have a dad, right? I mean, uh, I think uh, he, uh, his father uh, passed away. Sometime. Oh, Jesus, Joseph and Mary, the yeah. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I guess I that know. doesn't work for him, though, in that, in that no, sense. I, huh? But in that sense, you're right. We are opposites in that sense also. Look, uh, I, never, I never thought that you two would be so different, but, uh, you know, I love it. Oh, thank you, uh, Marco. Hey. Uh, I appreciate that. Look, I, I, I got to go. Cause, uh, oh, that, that's all period, you wanted to say? Yeah, period's half over, and I really want to watch it. So uh, okay. are you are you going to be taking any more calls? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to be taking calls all night. So uh, not, uh, But not uh, not right away? Uh, I, no, we're probably going to go to our first uh, segment, if that's Awesome. Okay, yeah, that's, that, that, that's uh, great. Uh, you know, I'll be watching with the... Uh, 
when I peeled. Were you going to call back right away? Me? No. Okay. No. All right. All right. Well, thanks for calling in, Marco. I'll uh, talk to you soon. Yeah, ciao. Whew, that was uh, Marco. Hey, this isn't so bad. Bird. I uh, misspoke as I tried to say how easy it was, and then I immediately fumbled the ball. So I guess there's a lesson in that. You know, you get braggadocious uh, one moment and you fall flat on your face the next. I'm going to uh, keep this show a rolling, keep this truck a moving, and uh, bring on our first uh, our first guests. Our first guests are uh, best friends. So I've been told uh, maybe they're opposites too. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find out uh, in this interview. But uh, since there's no tech for the show, I got to do a little tech busy work since uh, James kind of let me left me high and dry. So I'm going to be bringing them on in just a second. And here we go. And there we are. And away we go. Saima, Alex, how's it going? Hey! What's going on? Welcome to At Home with James with Dave. Hey, thanks, Dave. You're doing a great job. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I was a little nervous yeah. going in, uh, as you could tell in the uh, pre-show banter but uh, i think i'm keeping yeah. it together could definitely yeah, tell but hey look <laughs> yeah you could definitely tell <laughs> sweating bullets flop yeah sweat. yeah wow are you okay you need to tell i'm in a dark basement alone just sweating <laughs> yeah yeah like are you okay <laughs> yeah i'm being <laughs> held here against my will uh, i'm fine uh great so uh no need to call uh anybody okay excellent so what, what's going on with you two are you are you, you are you hockey fans not no i am yeah i am alex is not okay opposite opposite <laughs> starting off hot so I'm, are you watching the game right now while we're doing this interview uh well it's okay not... you don't have to be embarrassed no i'm actually paying attention to this interview don't worry okay um i just have the tvs here and i also have my phone which i get updates if something happens <laughs> okay so you're really good at multitasking separate yeah. media but no, that um, are... but I, this interview has my full attention actually oh, oh great um but i'm surprised i didn't I thought you were like somewhat of a hockey fan. I didn't know you weren't at all. Uh, I used to be a hockey fan, but mm. uh, I realized that it had no positive effect on my life, oh. <laughs> so I cut Did it you, out. Like really how? Happened? What happened? Well, I was in a when I was in a high school. I was in a hockey pool, and uh, okay. every day my friends would come and discuss how which player got how many points and how many assists did this person get and how many goals and all these things and it just it it really quickly wore me down and i was like you got exhausted about any yeah. of this sorry i'm gonna let out a hostly belch oh oh it, false alarm internal <laughs> well we might be seeing that belch later in the show <laughs> <laughs> delayed delayed belch yeah, yeah. Um, if i remember correctly dave you witnessed the beginning of the infamous hockey riots um yeah yeah Mm. So uh, a while ago, uh, some years ago, uh, there were the ha that's the thing. Like everyone's kind of like complaining about like I mean, there's obviously the last year like riots, like all sorts of different mayhem, and it's like that's just when we win a game, you know? <laughs> like yeah. what's so remarkable about any of this? When yeah, it's uh, really <laughs> there's no news. Here. <laughs> there's no news. Montreal <laughs> just loves to could be anything. Riot. We score too yeah. many goals. We don't score enough goals. Yeah, so yeah. I, I saw, I was walking uh, my then girlfriend, now wife, back to the train station. Brag. Uh, during, <laughs> yeah. We really hit it off. <laughs> Love was in the air. Uh, and uh, and then on my walk home, the, like every, every uh, like I guess, I don't even know if we won or lost, but just people mm. went wild. And I saw it, just like, it was like a really cool energy in the streets yeah. for a while, like, uh, people were like celebrating and then all of a sudden things just turned very dark very quickly. And, like, like what turned it? Just like, I don't know, like people like waiting to just like come out in mat, like they were wearing like uh, bandanas around their face, like pre, oh, okay. they were, uh, pre COVID mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. masks. <laughs> they were and, predicting it. They yeah. were like, this is the trend. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. I should have like, yeah, it was like an indication of the future, but, uh, yeah, just people, like, come out of the woodwork just, like, looking to just destroy stuff. And I guess these people had planned, like, if things get uh, riled up, we're just going to go crazy. And, yeah, like, yeah. everything was cool until suddenly, like, it wasn't. And I, I uh, my, you know the building with Leonard Cohen on Crescent? 
Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. My buddy used Isn't to that, That's a hotel, in... right, I think? No, it's a, it's a former hotel, now okay. apartment building. Unless they okay. switched it back into a hotel. And, uh, which would be weird, but... Anyway, my buddy <laughs> lived there. Yeah, they're like, oh, sorry. My buddy... You're lived... renting by the night. <laughs> yeah. We've changed the lease. <laughs> and now you're living in the hotel. <laughs> Um, but my buddy was a successful poker player back in the day and he lived in oh. that building. And so, uh, when things went down, we ran up to his balcony and we were just watching like rioters, like throw Molotov cocktails into cop cars and, wow. uh, and just go crazy. Uh, you didn't, you didn't want to get in the thick of it? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, it's fair. It's totally have, fair. Have either of you been in a riot? <laughs> well, not not like really but like i think i was also involved in that like before it got too crazy because i remember my friend and i were like let's go check this out because we lived at like at water so we walked down and we got involved in like a drum circle at some point yeah that's what it was, we got, like, it was yeah it was we got, like, like regular yeah. energy and then it was drum yeah. circle energy which normally ends in just like people like passing out stone or crazy. whatever yeah, <laughs> yeah well right but this went like another direction it was like oh we're gonna like destroy you know, some buildings. Yeah. What do you guys think is going to happen if we win? Because right now we're on, it, it's 2 0. There's six minutes left in the game. If we win, is this going to be. Um, I think there's going to be energy? worse energy in Toronto. Yeah. Than, yeah. Because oh. they're not here. When, when there was the ride, I think they were playing at home. But yeah. I don't even remember what round it was in the playoffs or anything. But uh, the first I'm round getting one. a note from my, uh, my production team that it was round one, just like we are this very evening uh oh so we're in trouble yeah so um i'm locked Ready in my some... basement <laughs> so <laughs> these stairs you're not gonna go check locked. it out this I'm time i'm not gonna check it out i do yeah. not want to be involved in anything like that uh or at least that's what i say publicly well, that's what you tell your wife <laughs> yeah, on, so, on the mug really i'm in anonymous <laughs> or so, whatever the fuck so dave oh. has your wife ever been seen on the show like or like how do we know she's real uh, or is well, she just like a lady on the, on the mug? mug? She's the right, lady on like, the mug. She's that could be anyone. She's been in the background one or two okay. times, normally telling me to be quiet. <laughs> okay, so she's real. Well, she's, of, real. she's real. And one of the reasons we moved is because we were in a uh, in a very small apartment with a young daughter. Mm. And I'd be doing this show at like, uh, at like 9 p.m. And yeah. like yelling or whatever and she would be right. furious at me because oh, like, no. she's raising a newborn and like needs every ounce oh my of sleep that she can get and I'm like so... yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're saying that this show is partially responsible exactly by, like moving moving this was oh, the catalyst jane yeah. 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 James 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 the catalyst. yeah i know he should kick in for some of the rent <laughs> but yeah but it is uh, definitely a catalyst for moving uh i just needed a wow. bigger a bigger spot but now this I'm was a career move. Basement. It was a career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have any of you moved for career moves? Transition <laughs> back to hosting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm constantly moving for careers. Yeah. You know? D different careers, you know, like oh, fire, firewoman. Mm -hmm. uh, You're moving to the, uh, the precinct. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving to um, the 45th precinct. This was, I was wondering, do they need, like, are the poles a thing? Oh, the fire poles? Yeah. As oh. as a current firewoman, yes, I can <laughs> confirm. Yeah, it's constant. But it's mostly, like, getting lunch. Like, oh, I have to go to, like, the fridge. You know, they're not used in emergencies. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. chill. I'm yeah. going to use the word chill to describe that. Yeah, you should, yeah. Um, we're going to go to the... Uh, phone lines real quick yeah. uh, oh great we have full phone call lines all the lights are red on the board they're lighting, so I'm up. Gonna, they're wow. lighting up yeah they're lighting up so i'm gonna go to call uh i'm gonna go to phone uh number four uh and uh hello who we got here hi my name is sean hi, hi sean, sean. Uh, hi, where, sean. Are you, where are you calling from right i'm calling from bay Durfe. Hi, well. Bay Durfe. Pleasure oh. to have you on the show. Before You're here we get into with, it. Uh... Oh, right, okay. yeah, yeah, you yeah. go ahead, Sean. Yeah. You before go right ahead. In... Yeah, before we get into it, it's important for me to let you know that my name is spelled S-H-A-U-N and not S-E-A-N or S-H-A-W-N or S-H-E-A-N. S-H-E-A-N. That's not how you spell Sean. I've never heard of that, Sean. Yeah. 
It's S H A U N. Okay, Sean okay. with a U. Yeah. That's cool. cool. I like it. So, that's like part. You identify. That's part of your identif uh, identity, there, Sean. Look, I, 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 I want to get right into it right now. I'm gonna make one thing crystal clear. I'm a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paul, well, I'm happy. Good. Uh, yeah. And look, I, I don't want to be forward, but I, this Alex Brown, is a just a peach. Yeah, Thanks, I, I mean, Sean. we all think so. We all think so too at the show. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about a can of peaches that's covered in sweetened syrup. <clears throat> I'm talking about a peach tree that you'd find on an orchard or in a painting. Oh, well, oh that's, wow. that's really nice. Sean with a U, thank you. I want to cut right to the chase. Would Go it be for possible Sean. for me to take you to, uh, to on a dinner at a terrace? Sean, how um, old are you, if you don't mind me asking? My As your age? best friend, can I can I? Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, so you know it over the best friend, you got, it's Sean, right, before, right. Uh, you can yeah. get of course, to the, uh, of course. Yeah. I'm what 20, did you ask, Simon? 20, I'm 29 years old. 29, okay, yeah. And I know, okay. I, I understand that my voice would have some people believe that I'm a little bit older than I am. But there's oh, really? A couple... I thought younger. I, I, I thought younger, too. yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I have Alex, you are after my heart, Miss Brown. Um and Sean, if you don't mind me asking, yeah. do you have a job? Do I have yeah, a she, job? You make it money. Look, Alex is not about to support a man. She yes, of course. I, I have a job. I work at the cheese factory. Oh, oh okay. That's like, nice. Uh, Oka. Yeah. Oka? <laughs> you have, oh, are you a are you a monk, Sean? No, no, I, I work at I work at Le Mer Cheese Factory. I, it's a long commute because it's the factory is in between here and Quebec City, so I put <laughs> a lot of pretty far. I, I put a lot of mileage on my moped. Oh, you oh. go there on a moped. Uh, how do you oh, get there in moped. the winter? Yeah, that's right. Hey. How do you get there in the winter, Sean? When if it's uh, cold outside, you stay on your moped. Yeah, the moped. How else? And Sean, can two people go on the moped? Because how will we get to the terrace? Oh, are you are you trying I'm to? I'm not saying. Me? I'm not saying yes yet. I'm not saying yes yet. There's more than enough space for two, especially if you're one of the two. Oh, wow. Uh, that sounds nice. So uh, again, I this is more forward than I would have ever imagined myself being. What do you think? <laughs> would, would you be interested in maybe going out for dinner? It, um, doesn't, it doesn't have to be cheese. But it could be, right, Sean? It could, it could be, be cheese, fine. right? For a lady yeah. like you, it could be anything. Um, I. Could we go like, like just as friends, or is this like a date? Oh, well, I was hoping that it could be with a date. I'm not interested in being friends. Oh, you don't want to be. Friends. You know what? Good for you, Sean, about being clear about what you want from this relationship from That's the start. True. That's true. That's not true. Honest, you know. Good for you, Sean. I'm, look, I'll, I'll say this. Um, I'm getting a sense that it's it's probably going to be a no from you, dog. Well, look, I don't know, I, Sean. It, this is you know I've never been on like a blind date before, so you know I'm just wondering. Well, look, have... it's, if if it's a no, then it's a no. I'm I'm uh, I'm a grown up, and I can take rejection. Well, it's just that I'm not, you know, I'm not really in the dating, uh, you know, arena at the that's, moment. That's that. You know what? That's totally fine. I absolutely respect that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Saima, are you single? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. Well, we should. Uh, her best friend should probably. Uh, She's single. She yeah, is right, single. But, but, uh, I have to, I have to be honest. Uh, I'm calling from a prepaid cell phone, <laughs> so I'm running out of time here. Oh, okay. Jeez. So maybe um, what I can do is I noticed that you have a producer in the chat named Devin, so perhaps I can uh, send him my email address because I don't know how much juice I've got on this sucker. So maybe uh, Saima, if it works for you, it works for me. Um. Sure. Oh, I mean, that's sloppy seconds, though, Simon. Uh, also, prepaid cell phone? I don't know. You need to. Oh, know. yeah. That's that's plan? I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> like, you know what? I, I totally respect that. You've both been more than more than open with me. So mm. I wish both of you a good night. And wow. uh, just uh, God bless both of you. That's thank you. All you right. Know well, what, Sean? Uh, thanks for calling there. Thanks Sean. for calling, Sean. Appreciate well, the it. Good night, John. The, the pleasure was all yours. That guy was, you know, hey, look, that guy was pretty nice. I he was like really him. respectful. I, I'm just going to go ahead and say I didn't like him. I you think didn't like him? No, like, I didn't, I didn't I like didn't. him. But, like, I, you know, but, like, I appreciate that he wasn't, like, you know, he didn't go all, like, oh, I was trying to nut, you know, like, right. when we rejected him, <laughs> right. you know? Is that the standard? 
Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I'm not a woman. <laughs> yeah, just guess. like, we didn't get berated by a man. <laughs> yeah, you weren't, you, know? you weren't groped or anything. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means it's a positive interaction. Exactly. That's, the bar is so low here. He was polite. He was very polite. He was polite. Yeah. He yeah. Was polite. Yeah. I wonder why uh, he cared. Like, we weren't going to spell his name anyway. Yeah, that was sort of like a bit... That's the tipping point for me. I, I knew, like, I'm not oh, interested, okay. you know. Because I only date guys who spell their names S-H-A-W-N. Oh, like Sean Mendes? So. Yeah, I only date Sean Mendes, yeah. so. Don't we all? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all only date Sean Mendes? Um, I guess I should transition into a new subject. That seems like a hosting thing to do. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, Dave. Oh, I appreciate Good that. I appreciate Show us the mug again. Show us the mug? Yeah. yeah, I'm out of water though. That's the thing. That's With okay. One mug, you don't have enough water for a whole. But show. see, like that's a real hosting move is having a mug. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. like I need something to do with my hands. Like I'd be yeah, uh, absolutely waving them all over the place like I'm in a jazz group. Oh yeah, cool. absolutely. So yeah. um, yeah. Did you guys? Did any of you go to a terrace? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I any, think Simon has. Terrace I... plans? Yeah, I, I haven't been yet, but I think Simon's been to. to I, I haven't actually either, but I live oh. very close to a street that has like a lot of terraces, and I walked. I I I've been walking by them and seeing some of them have like crazy lineups. Mm -hmm. um, like yes, I thought you went for breakfast. Oh, that's true. Without oh, me, Ella. You, you didn't even remember that you've been to one? <laughs> yeah. I guess in my mind, a terrace involves, like, drinks. It and I just went to, like, brunch, uh, so yeah. I didn't think much of it. That's mm. true. I did, go for, I did go to a terrace. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I it was nice to go and eat outside and be at a restaurant. The restaurant I went to, I usually like, but the service was particularly not great um did it why feel weird to service? be at a restaurant like i feel like uh, like the mm, first yeah. time or because you were sitting outside it was still sort of uh not the it full was, experience it felt like it definitely felt like i was at a restaurant um because yeah i felt like i was at a restaurant like you know when you go in the summer to a restaurant you sit outside that was the the vibe um people were like very excited to be there um yeah. and yeah it was nice i i did pay a lot for my my brunch that was not that great i will admit but um you paid a lot brunch. money <laughs> and emotional toll emotionally as well yeah really? pay for brunch <laughs> the emotional toll <laughs> have you been on a terrace day uh, yeah i have not i went to a barbecue yesterday which i was very oh, excited okay. about yeah uh, and it was uh super covid i mean Here's the thing. Everyone there was vaccinated, so like mm -hmm. right away, I like uh, breath, exhale, a nice exhale. I felt yeah, I yeah. felt pretty secure, but because yeah. it was raining, we were all under a small little gazebo. Oh, area, that's so right. Things were pretty right. pretty intense. And I brought my daughter, and uh, oh. I popped open a bottle of champagne because I was wow. like, afraid of, but did you like? Did it go on? Like, did it get on your daughter at all? It did or... not. Actually, okay. it was like the perfect pop, which I didn't, oh. uh, I didn't expect to be able to do. Like, I really thought I was gonna, I was gonna f it up. You did the whole like. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> did you get too savory? I didn't make it rain on my daughter. <laughs> Why not? Oh man, come That's on. That's true. You're right. Absolutely, I should have doused my daughter in champagne. Although my daughter did accidentally drink. Uh, hand sanitizer over the weekend <laughs> and I had to call poison control and wow. apparently uh, apparently uh, so which apparently happens all the time and it's like fine but yeah. she I think she got like a little bit drunk from it because that's like oh, the only thing that alcohol happen, because of the alcohol so she was like extra giddy for a while and like extra happy and just like Aww. running around and I was like I love my drunk yeah. baby's, so much. baby's first drink yeah exactly uh -huh. which is hand sanitizer <laughs> which might be like a good parenting move because maybe they won't drink yeah. anything after that like, that's true yeah really... disgusting it tastes like like garbage. yeah absolutely yeah uh i drank shampoo and my parents said to uh, call poison control when I was oh really kid. were you yeah. i guess you're alive i'm still here basically <laughs> shampoo is not toxic because yeah. that'd be weird if it was and <laughs> yeah, uh burn your hair off. yeah like it'd be kind of fucked um but i got to eat ice cream for dinner to get the taste out is oh, apparently awesome. yeah what kind of so, ice cream uh, neapolitan 
I think it was because it was the '90s. Oh. A little bit so. of everything. Yeah, Neapolitan was like super popular. You don't really see it, it anywhere nice. anymore. Oh yeah, no, big hit. I never true. Liked... You don't really get it anymore. Guys, Neapolitan sucks. No. I agree. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know. I have, like, nostalgia. It sucks. I have good memories of it, though. Why do you yeah. think it sucks, Simon? Um, It's just, like, I like chocolate and I like the vanilla. I was never into it. What's the, the cherry? Strawberry. 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 That's the fruity <laughs> flavor in Neapolitan. I, I agree with you. I think on most containers, you would have, like, two sections that were eaten and then just, like, strawberry. <laughs> yeah. I will give you that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. I like it. Um, I want to know more about this rabbit, though. Oh, uh, I don't know how to make uh, rabbit. Yeah, what's what's the plan here? I think I'm going to either roast it or grill it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look after the show. I'm going to look up a marinade, and I'll marinate it overnight, and then maybe right. do my barbecue. That's I think that's okay. my plan. Oh, and apparently like... it just tastes like chicken. So oh, really? It's just a I way to change to things, like... spice up my relationship. Hey, you know what? Why not? Because yeah. it sounds like your wife really loves it already. <laughs> yeah. She's having a great time. Hate is all, like, like any emotion is a good emotion right. at this point. It's <laughs> as true. long yeah. as it's not boredom. That's true. Yeah, that's true. You're keeping things uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, you should have just surprised her and not told her it was rabbit, and then cooked it, and then like, do you like this? Yeah. And, and, oh, and or get one of those it. like things where, like, as an as a kid, I thought that like as an adult, you would experience like taking the lid off of things to reveal meals a lot yeah. more. <laughs> yeah. You know, like that. The when silver, does that happen? Uh, dome. Yeah. yeah. Like, have like you that? ever? I don't think I've ever encountered that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I would have had to like hide the rabbit carcass in my closet or something so that you didn't find it. <laughs> well, you got you got a bigger place now. So. Yeah, I got a bigger fridge though. <laughs> Okay, yeah, right. Just hide it and you'd open the closet and be <laughs> Yeah, terrible. get a cooler. Get a yeah. cooler. Put it yeah. in the Dave cave. Yeah, exactly. Just in the Dave, Dave cave, cave yeah. Stink of rotten rabbit. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a production note that I've got to... Uh, I've got to... <laughs> well, look, <laughs> wind Dave. up this segment, I'm being told. Hey, look. 10 out of 10 uh, well, for an interview. Thank you. I I don't th- I'm not sure if you asked us any questions. Didn't but ask great. you a question. Interrupted constantly. All the stories were mine. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Welcome back. Thanks home. for having a great day. time. I really Have appreciate it. Time. And uh, you can tell uh, James that maybe there's a new host in town next oh, time. Oh, yeah. You. Well, definitely. Well. Absolutely. Right. Anyway, thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> I'm going to do the uh, tech thing and uh, wipe you Get off the of screen us. right now. And uh, I'll see you soon. Oh. Thanks for having us. No problem. All right. How was my first segment, everybody? Uh, pre. Uh, the chat, you guys can let me know uh, what's going on with that. Are you happy? Are you sad? Any notes? Talk more, talk less? Nothing? All right, that's fine. Uh, we got callers all night. We got callers coming up the wazoo. So uh, we're going to go to uh, line uh, best segment of all 250 episodes so far. Boom. Thank you very much, High Score Run. I appreciate that, and I'm sure that that's true. Uh, thank you, Naive Adven- Adventures. Good job, Dave. Look at me interacting with the chat. Uh, something that uh, Mr. James doesn't do. I'm a fan. Yeah, appreciate that too. Uh, everybody, uh, if you uh, next time you're on the show and uh, old dirtbag James McGee's hosting, uh, let him know. Let him know that uh, he's got uh, someone to compete with now. All right, I'm going to hit the line. Uh, line four. Uh, line four, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you from? Hello. Hi, uh, what's your name? You're Hi, on, my uh, name. With James. My name's Dougie. Hey, Dougie. Uh, what's going on? Well, I'm just sitting at home alone right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that is that good? Bad? You happy for the personal space? You want company? What are you thinking? Oh, I'm grounded. Oh, you're grounded. So uh, you're living at your parents' house. Yeah, I'm still living at my parents' house. I'm grounded. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dougie. What'd you do? Well, my mommy and daddy told me to go to bed, and I snuck out to watch some of the hockey game. Oh, yeah. You got to listen to mommy and daddy, you know? Uh, I'm a father myself, and uh, I'm going to be a pretty strict parent when my daughter's your age. Oh, I was... I was going to say something, but now now I'm not so sure that I should. No, go ahead. It's a safe space, Dougie. I was... Oh, I was going to say that I wish you was my daddy, but then you said that you were going to be a strict daddy, so now I don't want you as my daddy. Well, you know, strict but fair, Dougie. Strict but fair. That's uh, that's the way but to be I a wanna, parent. I want to watch the hockey. <laughs> well, you know, uh, you can always PVR it, watch it the next day. 
I hate you. You hate me? Yes. Dougie, that's no way to talk to an adult. I hate you, and I, I'm not sad that I said it. Well, you know, maybe your parents were right to ground you, Dougie. You seem like a pretty mischievous no. kid. No. No? No. I'm a good uh, little boy. You're a good little boy? Well, how about you prove it, Dougie, by behaving? I'd, I think, I, I, I think, I think, I, I think the kids should do whatever they want to do. Oh, yeah? And every parent should die. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Well, what kind I... of a world would that be? A bunch of kids running around. The best one. The best one? Yes. Who would make you dinner? Me. You'd probably just have uh, ice cream for dinner. That sounds awesome. It's not awesome. You would have health issues. Really? Yeah. You look like you've had some ice cream in your day. I have had ice cream in my day, but I'm oh, so you, you're I'm speaking. Adult. You're speaking from experience, then, hypocrite. I'm I, not a hypocrite. I hate you. Oh, Dougie. You don't don't call me that. You don't get to call me my first name. Oh, what should I call you? Uh, little boy you me, who misbehaves. Call, call me sir. Sir, you should yes. call me sir. I'm the adult in the room. No. 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 Well, you know what, Dougie? I'm gonna ground you also. What? No. <laughs> I'm grounding you too. You uh, you're grounded from the show. No, I don't get to watch the show. You either. don't get to watch the show for the rest of the night. No. You gotta I'll, go straight to bed. I'll be good. I promise. You promise? Yes. Okay, but if I catch you misbehaving one more time or giving an adult some guff, that's uh, no show for uh, the whole month of June. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dougie. You know, we all say things as kids that sometimes we want to take back. And uh, being a parent you means you got to forgive and forget sometimes. So uh, well, I, 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 I pledge to be better. Good. Oh, well, we appreciate that here at the show, you know, uh, but if you misbehave again, I'm going to have to give you a spanking. What? Gonna, that's, inappro that's inappropriate. I'm going to rip your bottom bare and uh, <gasps> smack it. Oh, no. Yeah. All right, okay. well, thanks for calling in. Okay. Have a good night, Dougie, and uh, go to bed. Okay. Say hi to your parents. Okay. All right. Good night. Okay. Sweet dreams, Dougie. See? Sometimes it's just a little stern parenting, and uh, in the end, uh, the kid behaves and learns a little lesson along the way. The threat of physical violence is a powerful one. All right. We got another caller. Uh, we got uh, line one. Line one, you're on the air. What's your name? Where are you from? Hey. How's it going, man? Hey, uh, yeah. what's your name? Where are you from? Sound like Am a I, uh, cool guy. I would say that I agree with that. Yeah, my name is Lex. Yeah, sick name. Awesome. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Where, where are you from, Lex? I'm calling actually from the Laurentians. Right now I'm located in St. Jerome. Wow, wow. Yeah. It's, uh, how's it like out there? What's it like? Uh, well, you people? know what? Once COVID hit, I wanted to get out of the city and kind of clear my head. I'm a bit of a fitness junkie. Oh, if well, you I, sound uh, quite muscular, if I may say so. You've got a muscular voice. Well, I'll tell you what. I am. Right now, I am 230 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. And I wanted to get away to the Laurentians to kind of clear my head and pump some iron. Nice. So uh, you work out a lot there? Working out a lot. And frankly, a lot would be an understatement. But I got to tell you something. I stumbled on this show. I've been kind of a Twitch fiend lately, and I just heard that last call. I'm not too familiar with this show, but I heard that that kid, he told you you've been eating ice cream and you admitted to it. Now, do I have that right that you've been eating ice cream? Uh, yeah, you know, I uh, the, probably about two weeks ago, I bought a pint of uh, Ben & Jerry's uh, Conadian O Conada. No. Let me add, is that the path and, you want uh, to go down, eating all that sugar? Well, you know, I, I had a pint over uh, over a week and a half, so uh, well, just a couple, I'll tell of, you what. A couple of bites a, a couple of bites a day, which I think well, is a reasonable portion. Well, you know what they say about guys that eat sugar? Uh, they're sweet. 
Yeah, you wish. As the old saying goes, guys that eat sugar don't spend a lot of time eating ass. Is that... I've never heard that saying before. That's weird. Well, you just did, so what do you think about it? I mean, I guess... Uh, What's your uh, name, Dale? No, my name's David. David? This is, All right, uh, yeah. Uh, at home with James, but tonight it's at home with David. Uh, yeah. What's and... that other guy like? Is he a big guy? Who? The other guy, the person you just yeah, mentioned, well, Dale? Yeah, well, yeah. what did you say? Justin? James. James. Uh, not a big guy. No, a smaller guy. I'm not sure if he eats ice cream, though, but I can guarantee you he doesn't eat ass because he's single right now. Really? Okay. And are you single? I am not. I'm married. Uh, and I also... Uh, I'm not to out my own uh, sexual uh, repertoire, but currently I am not eating ass. Wow! Oh, your your wife must not be pleased with you then, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, uh, she you should never... see how happy my wife is. She doesn't even need toilet paper. Wait, uh, Lex? Yep. She doesn't need toilet paper because every time she goes to the washroom, you eat her ass clean. You might as well just call me the Colonel because it's finger licking good. Well, uh, it's interesting. Uh, you can have that too. You can have that too, my man. Have what too? The life that I have. <laughs> okay, so what do I. Uh, not that I'm necessarily sold to go along those. Uh, Look, I think it's it's pretty it's pretty clear what I've been telling you. I'm telling you to put away the sugar and pull out the tongue. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you can always live a bit healthier, so maybe I should cut down the ice cream I've been eating. Uh, you know what? How about you and I hook up when I get back to the city? Hook up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I could I could probably teach you a thing or two. I'm willing to use myself as an example for you. Hey, let me ask you something, Lex. Uh, I love it. What do you think about uh, Neapolitan ice cream? Neapol what's that? It's uh, three flavors of ice cream in one. I've never cream. touched the stuff. Uh, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I've never touched it. Okay, so not a fan. Well, I think it's. I've made it crystal clear that there's only one thing I eat. Oh, you don't eat anything else. Nope. So how do you uh, how do you get your protein for? Uh, I mean, you work well, protein out shakes. I take. I, I'll drink protein shakes. Okay, so you'll drink yeah. things, but the only thing you'll eat is anus. All right, well, uh, did I, thanks did for I calling. stutter? <laughs> no, you, I'm just. It's a. This is a communications uh, little lesson, but all right. Well, uh, look, I'm just like I your said, point of view for the audience. All right, bro, just calm down. Like I said, <laughs> calm, perfectly calm. You don't look like it. I saw that intro off the top. Extremely that was the calm. last thing that I would call calm. Anyways, <laughs> okay. here's the deal. When I'm back in town, you let me know. We'll hook up. I want to hook up with you. Well, I appreciate that because there was somebody on earlier, Sean, uh, who asked out both of the guests and did not ask me out. So at least I'm getting mine now. I appreciate that very much. Well, the pleasure's all yours. <laughs> oh, he did say that too. But thanks for calling in, Lex. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that for now. And um, yeah, we appreciate uh, anybody who has the number. Call in. We'll take a couple more calls over the show. Uh, we have uh, one more de guest coming right up, uh, so why not just go to it right away? You know why ramble when you can uh, when you can get into the meat of the conversation immediately. So our next guest is a fantastic man. Some people call us best friends, <laughs> but uh, neither of us necessarily consent to that uh, name. So uh, next, coming up is. Uh, Bring him on right now. Sorry, I got little tech things to do. And uh, bring him on right now. And uh, it's Sid Rock. Sid, how's hey. it going? Hey, Dave. I'm great. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm good. I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit on edge. You know, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to it's, host the show for the first time. What do you think so far? It's you, you totally understandable. Uh, no, I think um, I think you're doing great. Hello, chat. Um, I... Um, you know, the first time is kind of nerve wracking. And I got to say, um, and I say this with love, you know how um, I keep bringing up that uh, Andy is objectively the best tech in the show. Um, yeah, I, what, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm aware of that. One thing, though, that um, I've never seen Andy do is actually host the show for a whole hour. So uh, 
that's um you're 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 gaining significant ground i'll put it that way thanks and, and i also uh, just noticed that your frame isn't quite aligned so i'm fixing it as we're doing the interview so seamlessly it's like no one noticed there we go there that's we go. uh that's the sign of a pro you know you just you just take the little issues and uh deal with them as they come yeah it's it's great thank you i appreciate that you know maybe i'm gonna gain a little bit of self-confidence after today well, there's nothing like uh, running running the entire show uh, to to really flex those muscles, you know. Amen. <laughs> um, yeah, Sid, uh, you a hockey fan? You watching the game? Or you're not a hockey fan. I am not a hockey fan at all. I think hockey is stupid. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll say the uh, the only the only thing that's changed in recent years. Well, as I've gone older is um back when i was younger i was really obnoxious about it like making fun of people who like hockey and shit but i i got over that part so yeah, uh, yeah it's just not for me the hard not way or the easy way <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i never uh well you know i i never burned some bridges but i might have poisoned some wells with some uh, people who were hockey fans and like uh yeah for sure it must have happened yeah i mean yeah. no one likes uh no one likes having people make fun of something that they like. I mean, me on the other hand, you know, I I, uh, I read comics. I like wrestling, yeah. so I, I I have my own things that I uh, yeah but... that I enjoy that people uh, could could find grounds to make fun of me for. So uh, you know, we all we all have our little thing. Some for some people, it's hockey. It's a very measured, polite response. <laughs> I'm looking for the dirt, Sid. I want to hear you. Uh... I want to hear some of these old school hockey burns. Oh, well, here's, oh, I'll, I'll tell you this right now. And this, this is like, to me, this is just objective. Uh, the, the, the fighting, it's like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, why it's, do they, it's, uh, uh, it's the only sport that sort of lets you just fight in the middle of it. Well, not in every league. And that, that's the thing. Like the, the biggest league in this sport lets people fight whenever they feel like it. As long, as long as they're standing and they're not wearing their gloves. Wow. Sorry, I'm uh, distracted by what's going on in the Zoom call, which is very unhostful of me. <laughs> but you um, know, like, uh, yeah, that I, I think that's the the um, the main button that I could keep pressing. Like, I I like combat sports. Uh, it's just you know. Yeah, it's like uh, I'd watch if I want to see people fight. I'd watch UFC. I wouldn't watch yeah. one where like they're uh have giant padding on that they have to disrobe from at the beginning of the fight and then, yeah exactly like, exactly skate. I, if i had to yeah revamp hockey i would uh, remove the skates i would remove the fighting i would just let the stick handling ha maybe i'd make it basketball <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> make the puck bigger and make hoops instead of nets it's funny uh because there um there's that aspect that hockey and uh, basketball have in common which is like they're very fast games mm -hmm. um but yeah it, uh, i'm i'm not into either really <laughs> fuck them yeah <laughs> right but hey that's the that's official policy thing. at at home with james uh starting today uh if you're a hockey fan fuck you uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it will never be changed, that policy, uh, for the remainder of the show. Uh, and it is written in stone. I, I got to say, um, you know, I, I would never dream of uh, missing a show just to watch something that I, um, that I like. I would, need, I would need a very, very good reason to... to to do that and uh, i i don't think hockey is uh, is a good reason for it yeah but that's because you have uh tact yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh geez um yeah all right well what uh what else is good that's a good host question right what else is good Sid? <laughs> you um i wanted to ask you uh we we, we both are avid uh cryptocurrency uh <laughs> buffs a little bit we sure I are to know, and this is something that i've never found out from you but what what got you into it what got you into the subject oh man uh okay holy shit this i was aware of there was a radio show that i um that i listened to back in the day and when i say back in the day this was back when uh, bitcoin was only worth a couple dollars mm -hmm. uh and i 
was so sick and tired of hearing these people um, talk about Bitcoin that I uh, um, decided to uh, try. And the um, my first attempt was a very costly mistake because I um, the first app that I downloaded that like the Bitcoin wallet, it downloaded the entire blockchain oh, and uh, it ended up. Yeah, it, it ended up frying my computer. Like uh, the download was so long that I um, that I decided to just, you know, go to bed and uh, hopefully wake up and, uh, you know, it'll be done. And when I woke up that morning, it was a black screen and the, the three deadly words, no bootable devices. <laughs> that was uh, and that was it. That was and the end of that. From that moment on. <laughs> well, let's just say um, let's just say that I. Uh, I took action, but uh, after that, I uh, um, the next wallet that I got, like basically, I would not. Uh, I don't want the blockchain anywhere near my uh, my computer because of that experience. Okay. Like it literally cost me a computer. Well, I mean, hopefully, uh, your early entry uh, has made up for that <laughs> since then. Oh man. That was the best fifty bucks I've ever spent. I'll say, I'll, t- I'll tell you that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's it's funny too because no one, um, no one is interested. Le- oh, no, let me let me re re rephrase that. No one is happy with Bitcoin. Those uh, people who don't have it wish they had some. People who had it wish they had more. Yeah. So uh, you know, you just do you just do you, boo. Just do you. Thank you. Uh, people have been telling me that my entire life. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got uh, we got a. Uh, board full of callers we're going to take a call for uh, me and sid uh if you haven't called yes. in call in uh, but we got somebody now so uh we're gonna go if you want line one or line two sid uh let's go with number line one two. or number two line, line two, two baby all right the deuce all right line two you're on the air hi david it's sylvia again oh Hi, Sylvia. I'm on with uh, Sid Rock, actually, so... Um... Oh, I know. Double your pleasure, double your fun. Uh... Hey, Sylvia. Sid, can I ask you a question? <laughs> you sure can. Do you live in NDG? I don't live in NDG, NDG no. Oh, am I making you nervous, Sid? A little, yeah. <laughs> now, can I ask you a question? Who? Sure. Do you... Not you, David. You're married. That would be naughty. It would be naughty. Sid, everyone knows that NDG technically stands for Notre Dame de Grasse, but do you know what the kids call it? No. Well, for many, NDG stands for no damn good. Oh, okay. And that's what I've well, been thinking about Well, I think that's a little tonight. harsh. Ooh, is it? Do you like <laughs> harsh things? I I love harsh things. Sid, come on, man. This is a PG show. Oh, not when Sylvia's around. <laughs> okay, Sylvia. You know what? You're uh, you're uh, maybe this uh, is a little too uh, sensual for the show. I don't know. If, uh, okay, well that's that's fine. Well, uh, Sid, maybe the cosmos will align and you'll find yourself in NDG and we can get no damn good. Slide slide into my DM, Sylvia. Sylvia, oh. can I ask you a question? For you, anything. Did you say Cosmos because that's a famed NDG restaurant? That's exactly why I mentioned it. Oh, okay. That's a good pun. Well, I'll let you boys have your fun. Thank you. I appreciate that. I look forward to hearing from you, Sylvia. Oh, you'll be getting a little bit more than hearing from me. Sid, uh, I gotta say, I'm gonna hang up on Sylvia right now, but... uh... (laughs) You looked a little bit into Sylvia said. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, has COVID it's been, been treating you that badly that it's um, been a long quarantine. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And uh, let's just say, uh, I uh, if if we're reopening, I want to reopen all the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, in, in uh, a in a fun Christian way, of course. Sure, yeah. Everything yes, this well, is a uh, Christian show. This uh, whole conversation has been about church. Yeah, 
we're a, yes. we're a strictly Christian show, despite the fact that I'm Jewish. <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> so uh, if anybody wants to call in with their uh, Christ-related questions or uh, or anything of that nature, I think we got time for one more call on the line. Uh, we got, uh, let's go, we picked line two last time. Let's go with line one right now. Line one, you're on the air. Hey, this is uh, Sean again. Oh, my God. I just, I, I have I a just question. Wanna, just, uh, uh, pro- I hope our production team can uh, take some yeah. new callers for the next round of callers. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Sean. Not that we don't enjoy you having on the show. I, I have, well, it sounds like you don't. No, tell, we do, we do. Sean. You're basically, said... telling, you're basically telling your production team to take other calls than me. No, is it no, because no. I, Is it because I don't spell my way that society would like for me to conform to? No, we're very, we're very accepting here. At, at you know what? Games. You, sir, you're a rat. A rat. I'm calling to talk to Sid. Sid, I have you a know, question. You uh, know, a rat is a Jewish stereotype. Well, I'm Jewish. <laughs> well, then you're allowed to say it. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sid, I have a question for you. I just heard you on the line with Sylvia. Yeah. My What's question up? is My question is simple. How the hell do you do it? <laughs> well, you know, uh, Sean, the... The secret is to just treat them like normal human beings with their own yeah. hopes and aspirations. Now, did you hear my call earlier with the two lovely ladies, one of which that was single and the other that was taken? I did, yes. Now, where did I go wrong? Because I've been beating myself up. Re- something fierce. Something fierce. Um, uh, okay, right out of the gate, telling people how you spell your name is a uh, faux pas. I didn't like you. R- like, when you when you told us how to spell your name. <laughs> well, look, Sid, I have I, to tell I you. I started this, like. I, I appreciate, just like with the two lovely ladies earlier, I appreciate your honesty, and I'm all about being up front. So thank you for that. We're, uh, we're so getting here we go. from the chat. We have uh, Sid got a date on the show before James did. That's true. Uh, yeah, well, we you know, I, I actually thought of a joke. Okay, well... Because uh, uh, I know you guys like to have jokes on here. The name of the show now, this is the joke. The name of the show is At Home with James, but it sounds like Sid is going to be at home with Sylvia. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good, you. Sean. Because they're going to they're gonna hook up. Sounds awesome. Now, Sean... It all just... Yeah. Uh, are, do you have trouble with uh, with uh, with the ladies sometimes? Well, obviously, if I'm calling into Twitch shows, the answer is yes, rat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're allowed to say that, but uh, I was maybe well, I, I can, can I help. can pick a variety of other animals: snake. Another stereotype. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to trigger you, uh, Sean. Uh, we well, appreciate consider you. me triggered. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I preemptively. Anyway, called. Sid, Sid, Sid. Yes. How in the hell do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I guess I'm just a natural. Oh, oh, look, I'll be honest. It sounds like you don't want to spill the beans, and I appreciate it. A magician such as yourself never reveals their secrets. You know the the Twitch the Twitch dating market is a very competitive, and uh, you are correct. I don't want to give any trade secrets. I don't want right, you. Uh, right. You know. That nah. makes sense. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to find your own way, Sean. You know what? I I actually just went to the library today and I rented the game. So maybe I'll draw myself a bath and spend the night reading that, and hopefully this time next week I'll be the same type of master as you are. <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like an excellent plan. All right, well, Sid, thanks so much. Dave, I know there was a bit of tension between you and I, but it's only because I'm looking to hook up. So I'm going to do my best next time to come in clear-headed. Yeah. But until then, Take Sean, care. out. Okay, bye, Sean. We appreciate You know, it. it's... Uh, I I, uh, I can relate, you know. Uh, I, I've been in that place, and uh, sometimes... Sometimes when you're like... Uh, um, Jones and for a bones. <laughs> sure, yeah. You, uh, you, uh, we, we all know say, about that. Yeah. So, sometimes in those situations, you accidentally say anti Semitic things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay because he's Jewish. Um, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, Sid, I appreciate it. In you. Minecraft. In Minecraft. Yes, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, it's, uh, I appreciate you, uh, helping me, uh, through this whole hosting thing and getting used to it. And, uh, I know you host your own show. Uh, if you want I, to tell the audience about that, I do. Uh, it's tell uh, them about your stream, the Sid stream. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you just search for my name on YouTube, Sydney rock and, um, yeah, I'll come right up and I stream on Tuesday nights at 10 PM Eastern. Yeah. He talks and, about uh, yeah, it all. Tomorrow should be a good time. Politics, Pardon? current events, culture. Yeah. Sid's got to take exactly. everything. So Tomorrow I'm going to be teaching uh, risk management. Oh, nice. I could uh, use some of that because I got washed out in this last <laughs> crypto crash. Hey, I uh, I just uh, accepted a date with a stranger. So uh, yeah, we're all we, learning. We, we, all, we all have our failings. You <laughs> we know? all have our failings. All right. Thanks a lot, Sid. And uh, we'll talk soon. Awesome. You take care. Okay. Bye. And I pull this back. And now we are back one on one. Well, what a show. We had uh, so much fun. A lot of things happening. I learned how to host a thing. You know, it's not as yeah, I thought it was going to be easier than this. I had uh, some ups and downs, but uh, definitely if I uh, get the chance to do this again, fingers crossed, I'm going to come back uh, stronger and uh, more powerful than ever before. I think we got time for one more caller, so uh, I'm going to uh, pick one off of the board, and we're going to go with uh, caller number four. Caller number four, you're on the air. Hey, Dave, what's up? Hey, uh, how's it going? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, James from St. Henry. Oh, hey, James, what's going on? How you doing? Not too, not too much. It's uh, James from uh, At Home with James. Right, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you weren't here tonight, so I'm kind of taking over for you at home with Dave tonight, but uh, it's back yours on Wednesday. Yeah, look, I've been, I've been watching the show. Of course, I think you mentioned it off the top. I actually took the night off to watch the hockey game. So yeah. for anyone who doesn't know, the Canadians have completed the sweep. They were down 3-1 in the series. They won three consecutive games. The Toronto Maple Leafs have been eliminated wow. by your Montreal Canadiens. Pretty cool stuff, James. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, but I got to tell you, I, I feel it, pretty it was, hot about that. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty high, but I have to tell you, I was also focused on the show and couldn't help but listen to what you were just saying, talking about how hosting's a little bit harder than you thought it would be, right? Yeah, you know, it's not quite as easy as I thought, but uh, I thought I did a pretty decent job. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a couple more episodes, and I think I'd yeah. be uh, right up there with the best of them. Well, I have to tell you, you really encountered a lot of feisty callers tonight. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, nothing I couldn't handle. And look, that's exactly... I was going to really just let you take the steering wheel tonight, but I got to tell you something. What's that? Dave, I think we might have to do this again because I'm ready to give you your grade. Oh, I didn't That's realize right. it was a graded uh, sort of assignment. I thought it was just yeah. Well, I didn't want to tell you to add any gambit. Yeah, I didn't want to add any extra pressure on you because I could tell off the top that you were nervous. Right, I'm a little nervous. You know, first time hosting a Twitch show to you know a stacked audience. Yeah, and look, it was a good crowd tonight, and I'm going to give you full credit for that. I and I know it. off the top, you were kind of making fun of me a little bit. I know a caller called in. You were talking about my, you know, shall we say, lack of a mm, double parental situation growing up, right? Yeah. You know, well, it's show business. You got to kind of make some jokes here and there. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Of course, I, I know better than anyone else. I'm an, I'm an award-winning comedian. Now, sure. Dave, mm -hmm. what I lack in having a father, I, in a lot of ways think about how i compensate by being a bit of a father figure to you oh. and there's been no better example than this show tonight is that so uh, you, you can't see but there's a tear running down my cheek because i i when i first met you i thought there's no chance this guy will ever be a host and tonight you, <laughs> oh, really? you you proved me wrong so with your final grade i give you a c plus oh, wow i passed yeah Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. I passed my test. I am officially a host. Is that correct, James? You are officially a host, and I think, dare I say, I know that we might have to do another at home with Dave. And I'll tell you why. 
because the Canadians have released their upcoming playoff series schedule with the Winnipeg Jets, and there's a lot of Monday, Wednesday, Friday games. Well, you know, uh, it's good to hear that um, you uh, show the respect to your audience that they deserve by uh, handing off the show reins to me during those uh, tumultuous times. And uh, well, I couldn't yeah. agree more, right? If you respect your audience, you put the show in the right hands. Sure. And you are those right hands. Hey, you know, right hand right here. Well, Dave, you've got the C plus, but only after the next couple minutes because the crucial finality of hosting is closing out the show. So, Dave, I'm wishing you the best of luck. I want to thank you for taking over. I really appreciated Sid Rock for being here, Alex Brown, Saima Ahmed, all the callers. How about that Sean guy? What a guy. He makes me look like a Rico Suave. Who's that? It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Dave... I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations. Great job. Great show. Great audience. I'm going downtown. Woo! Oh, wow. Thank you, James. James appears to be on his way to rioting. Uh, as discussed earlier, tonight is going to be a night to stay safe out there. We don't want anyone to go a little too crazy. So, uh, you know, stay indoors. Don't, uh, don't go burn anything down. It's kind of weird, uh, James checking in on me at the end there, like he's uh, my dad or something, like uh, or an exam invigilator. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I like to let loose when I'm hosting. You know, maybe get a little wild, maybe get a little crazy. But uh, I'm gonna save that for an episode in the future. So for now, uh, this is me, Dave. I'm going to be signing off from uh, At Home with Dave, which is normally At Home with James, which is normally hosted by James McGee, but is right now hosted by me, David Kaufman. So uh, until next time, uh, stay safe out there, stay warm, and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the Habs victory, and uh, have a good night. All right. Bye, everybody. And uh, I'm going to tech this myself since I'm teching and put on the exit theme and there it is and I'll see you all later